Alright, before the video begins, I just want to say, I didn't make a video about the 17th birthday of Windows 2000, but it was kind of bad, so here's a remake for the 18th birthday. Alright, let's get into the video. As you may know, today is February 17th, 2018. 18 years ago, on the state, Microsoft released their newest version of the Windows NT kernel, Windows 2000. It was the successor to Windows NT 4.0, and it was the last version of Windows to display Windows NT. It was sent to manufacturing on December 15th, 1999, and was released to the public on February 17th, 2000. Windows 1000 introduced many of the new features of Windows 98 into the NT line, such as the Windows Desktop Update, Internet Explorer, Outlook Express, FAT32, Internet Connection Sharing, and many more features. Windows 1000 was very stable and reliable, so people liked it and it was received very well. It was mostly made for businesses, and Windows 98 and ME were designed for the home user. Windows 2000 was eventually replaced by Windows XP in 2001, however, Windows XP was actually built using the stable Windows 2000 kernel. On July 13th, 2010, Microsoft ended all support for Windows 2000. While you can run some modern programs using some modifications to the kernel, it's been more than 7 years since Microsoft ended support. Let's take a look at the Windows 2000 retail box and see how well Windows 2000 will run on a laptop. Alright, so as you can see, I've gotten the box out. Um, here's the Windows 2000 box. So let's go take a look at the box here. As you can see, Microsoft Windows 2000 Professional. If we turn it over, um, we've got the reliable operating system for business desktops and laptops. Uh, built on the, I mean, building on the reliability and security of Windows NT and integrating the ease of use of Windows 98. Microsoft Windows 2000 Professional offers a simple but powerful foundation for businesses of all sizes and with advanced features for mobile computer computing. Uh, it helps you work more efficiently in or out of the office. We've got, you know, which Windows is right for you. We've got Windows 2000 for the business and Windows ME for the home. We've got all these features, uh, the system requirements over here, um, not that bad, you should need uh, 133 megahertz, um, 64 megabytes of RAM, and um, a 2 gigabyte hard disk, and then um, uh, you get the other products, Office 2000 and Windows 2000 server, um, that's the box, um, it's interesting, it's got some stuff on the top, um, from Microsoft, and uh, let's go look at the actual install disk itself if we open up this part which is in the box and this is the um, CD-ROM that Windows 2000 would come in as you can see if we open this up let me just open this, open this up as you can see there's like this really cool like rainbow effect this hologram effect um, and basically this I think it's to like prevent piracy it's like this authentic like you know, Microsoft thing, but it's really cool. It's all rainbow-like, and it's really trippy. It's like acid, and we can see Windows 2000 Professional um, did not make illegal copies of this disk. Um, the lighting, as you can see, if you like put it under a light, it looks really cool. Um, I think they did this with multiple Microsoft products from this time, uh, like Windows XP, uh, Win Office 2000, um, and other Microsoft products from, you know, around 2000. It's a shame they didn't, um, copy that into, like, Windows Vista and 7 and 8. But, I mean, yeah. And then we've got the floppy disk here. Um, as you can see, it's a 3.5 inch, um, I'm not really sure what this is. It's not a boot disk, but it's a, um, it's a disk for Windows 2000 Professional Server and Advanced Server. I think it's maybe, I'm not really sure, but it's a 3.5 inch, 1.44 megabyte disk. I'm not sure if this is like some additional software on a floppy disk. I doubt it. And I'm not really sure what this is all about. And then we've got the manuals. We have the getting started um, manual. 
and um, uh, um, we've got stuff like um, oh, this book. I hate books. Uh, we've got like how to use it, how to connect to the internet, um, frequently asked questions about you know, yeah, blah 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 blah, peer to peer networks, um, mouse error codes and it's really useful i'm not going to read the entire thing then we got the quick start guide which is about setting up setting it up and uh i think it's actually for like installing it also um it's kind of hard to flip the book and hold the camera in one hand um just some information so you got all the guides you need everything you need for windows 2000 and uh yeah kind of like the windows 2000 branding all right, so that's the box. That's basically what's inside the box. A really cool disc, uh, the CD-ROM that Windows 2000 is on. It's it's amazing. I, I love it. Uh, all right, so now let's actually go over to my Compaq um, M2000 laptop, and let's see how Windows 2000 runs on it, and I'll show you a little demo of the operating system. All right, so as you can see, we are um, on the... Compad, I mean Compact M2000, running Windows 2000. If we go to properties, we can see that we are running uh, Service Pack 4. Uh, I think I upgraded it. Um, a, we are running an Intel Penti, I mean an Intel Celeron M processor at 1.3 um, gigahertz uh, with a gigabyte of RAM upgraded from 512 megabytes. Um, it's also connected to the internet using um, LAN, I mean Wi-Fi, and we've got Office, and we've got some modern programs such as Audacity, which I managed to install using a um, custom, like using a modification to the operating system that allows you to run um, newer Windows XP programs, um, and it just allows me to record audio, and I can play it back and edit it. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I've also got Microsoft Office. Um, we've got a lot of programs. We got like, um, let's open up Microsoft Office. Yeah, Word. And you can see this is uh, Microsoft Word. We can type out stuff. This is Word 2003. Um, the last version of uh, Word to run on. Um, Windows um, 2000 and um, yeah it's got the office assistant as well um, and we've also got VLC media player it actually works pretty well when you're uh, opening up media uh, open file um, I don't really have any media files but it's, it's kind of okay, it's pretty impressive, it can do some cool tasks. And while it can't run every program, it can run, it can run most of them, like, you know, VLC, um, Firefox, and um, it's also got Internet Explorer 6, let's see it on the internet, um, no. And you can see you can't get online, uh, let's try going to Google. There's Google, we can search for stuff. Eh, it's pretty okay. Um, I want to see how YouTube will work. If it will be able to work with a new layout. I'll probably have to change it back. But this is just me in Windows 2000. It's pretty nice, it's pretty lightweight. I like how it looks. Um, it's a really great operating system. So as you can see, I am getting YouTube running. It is slow, and for some reason, I can only watch videos in 360. Like, if I try to go up, it just says missing options. It's really weird. And, but, you know, if you can deal with the 360p, which I can. Of another video. So, um, in my Discord server, I made an announcement. It's pretty okay. I mean, you'll have to watch the videos at, you know, 360p 30. But, I mean, this monitor is only... I don't think this is even 720, it's not even HD. As you can see, it's only uh, 1,024 pixels by 768, so that's not HD. And, um, yeah, so, you can't really watch videos in HD or even 480p, which kind of sucks, but 
if you can deal with the quality, I mean, it's, it's okay for watching YouTube, it's okay. Um, and you can even, there's other programs like, you know, email clients, I got Mozilla Thunderbird, we've got Opera, um, uh, what else we got, we got CCleaner, 7-Zip, uh, Qubit Torrent, um, and some other programs, and it runs re really well, um, it's my favorite version of Windows, so, yeah, that's about my video, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it was just a video of me talking about Windows 2000, um, it's 18 years old, so happy birthday to Windows 2000, so that's it for this video, I hope you guys liked the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe, comment, and, yep, enjoy, so that's about it for this video, and I'm gonna be signing off, so... Goodbye.